What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is gonna be a cribs tour. A lot of you have asked me, can we see your beauty room? Can we see your makeup storage? We want to see your makeup collection, your vanity. A lot of you guys have also asked to see my filming setup and I've also gotten a lot of questions about my home decor. So this video is going to be just that. I'm going to be taking you into my bedroom where I store all of my makeup. I'm also going to be showing you some of my home decor and kind of my style and what has inspired it. So this is going to be just a fun, chatty, chill little tour. And if that sounds of interest to you, then keep watching. And if this happens to be your first time here, then welcome. My name is Sophia and this is my channel that focuses on luxury beauty. If you love makeup reviews, I like to say that I spend my money so that you don't have to. I do very realistic, helpful reviews. I also do fun videos like this. I do favorite videos, product roundups, you name it. So if that sounds of interest to you, then you're in the right place, my friend. Hit that subscribe button to join our fam because we we have a lot of fun on this channel you could also hit the notification bell to hear about every time i upload a new video if you like this style of video or if you requested this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really helps out my channel a lot of the things that i have in my home I have kind of collected from travels and that kind of stuff, but if there's anything that is relevant that I can link, I will link all of that down below so that you guys can maybe shop for some of these things or makeup organization kinds of stuff. I'll have all of that linked in the description box down below. All right, party people, let's get into this little tour. I've never done one of these videos before, so forgive me if the camera's a little shaky, anything like that. Again, this is gonna be a really chill video. It's gonna be like, if you are here in my home with me and I'm just like giving you a little bit of a tour, so let's get started. So if you do not know, I live in a one bedroom apartment. I share this apartment with my boyfriend. You'll kind of notice throughout this, there's always a lot of like maximizing of space. Most of our apartment is in this one big living area. And this is the living area that you see in the background of all of my videos. I am going to show you around here a little bit, but I wanted to show you exactly where I film because I always film in as much daylight as possible. I know this isn't like the fanciest, sexiest setup of all time. I literally have my Peloton in my living room, okay? This is city living right here. And then my filming area is right here. And one of the reasons that I like to have my filming set up here is because I wanna have as much natural light as possible for my videos. And then also, I just wanna have like my home in the background. I want it to feel like you are at home with me, we're hanging out, we're talking about makeup because that's like, I don't know, that's like the style of my channel. So just kind of taking a look here. This is my desk and this is on any given day pretty much what my desk will look like. I've got both of my laptops, my work laptop and my Sophia Z's Beauty work laptop. I've got notes, my little uh, Rose Forever thing here. This is where I keep all of my little like lip glosses that I will pop on before I film or before I get onto a Zoom call. You're gonna notice in this video, there are a lot of plants here. I had quite a few plants here already and then my boyfriend moved in and he brought maybe 30 to 40 plants. <laughs> Some of them have died off. So you're probably gonna be like, wow, they really crammed a lot of plants into this apartment. And it's true, we have. And during the summer, we actually will put them out on our balcony. So we have kind of like a little urban oasis. I got these planters from Etsy. I just like having a little bit of green around me wherever I go, especially as I'm like working and filming. When you're working from home and you're in inside all day, it is nice to kind of have a little bit of like greenery around you. I'm pretty much always drinking coffee. So this is my Bell coffee mug that I got at Disney World. I've got, again, my little planter. Everything in my apartment is like marble, gold, plant colored, and then accents of maybe like blue and kind of woven materials. I always keep this uh, Sonia G towel here because when I do my demos, I like having this little microfiber towel for cleaning off my brushes. And I just finished filming a reel with this beautiful limited edition Sonia G Mount Fuji brush. So there's pretty much always like boxes of makeup here. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit today, but there's, there's always something here that I'm like filming with or I'm prepping with. I've got my printer in the corner. And then I have a very, very basic setup here. I have a ring light, which like most of the time it's either off or 
it's maybe just a little bit on because you need to have a little bit of glow on your face so that people can actually see what I'm doing. If it's very sunny, I don't really need anything here. I'll actually take these box lights down and maybe put them right here. I just use as much natural light as possible, but it does become very difficult, especially in the winter, when there is no sun here in uh, New England where I live, and there literally will not be enough light. There will be so many clouds that it's very hard to film and it also will get dark at four o'clock. So that's why I have those box lights because I find that these, they produce the most natural effect that is similar to natural sun. Then this is my Peloton. And then as you can see, these are all of the plants. Some of the plants are in like a rebuilding stage. Okay, I know, I know <laughs> we're in a rebuilding stage, but we have a lot of cute little planters here and we love our plant babies. Once again, more of a workout area. This is Minnie's Poopy Palace. If you live in like a studio apartment, a small apartment, see if you can find one of these little like litter box houses because people do not realize that this is a litter box. They're like, what? What is that? And I'm like, oh, that's Minnie's Poopy Palace. So I got this one off of Wayfair. If I can find this one or something similar, I will link it down below. But it's really great because you don't smell anything. It doesn't make a mess. None of the litter, bar barely any litter comes out of here. Half the time, I don't even know she's in there. I forget the litter is there. All I do is clean it once a day. So this is really like my filming area right here. Again, nothing fancy, nothing high tech. And you guys probably have noticed right here, this is for a phone. So I'm filming on my phone right now. I film everything on my iPhone 13 Pro. I love it. I think it's great. I'm not really ready to switch to a fancy camera. I'm not a photographer. So if anybody is going to be starting like their own channel or something, don't feel like you need something super crazy. I got all of these things on Amazon and it wasn't super expensive. The biggest thing that I got was my work laptop, which has made a huge difference in just kind of like editing and processing videos. You will notice there's cat toys like pretty much everywhere. Minnie is right here. You wanna look over? Do you wanna look over? Yeah. That's Minnie, that's my cat. If you are new here, she's she loves to be known. This year, because we have so many plants, we didn't get a full-size Christmas tree, so we got just like a little mini Christmas tree and Minnie the cat loves the mini Christmas tree. So normally I have kind of like a candelabra kind of situation going on here, but right now this is our little Christmas tree with all of the little mini <laughs> Christmas ornaments. And yeah, that is our little like holiday setup for this year. A lot of this furniture, like all the gold and marble stuff, this is all from CB2. And then we've just got, you know, our little plants and things like that. A friend of mine made this for me. I think it was maybe for Christmas or my birthday last year, just like this little thing to put in my background. So I thought that was really sweet. One thing I wanna point out uh, for anybody who just like loves home decor, I very often will go on Etsy because I love these sort of antique gold, gold colored brass types of things. And I will just go antiquing on Etsy. So this, I don't even know if this was an actual planter. I think I just searched for like antique planter, antique brass, something or other. And this little duck popped up and I thought it was so cute. So I turned it into a little planter for our succulents. And so one of the reasons why I mentioned that is because I have done that in a couple of other areas right here. So this is our entertainment system. I got this off of Pottery Barn. This is definitely like a good investment for me. You can see our plant on both sides and then all of the decor here has kind of been mostly Etsy I'm not gonna lie let me show you guys here what I have all of these books you can get them from Etsy I'll link the seller that I got them from below or a similar one you can buy just like standard decorative books and you buy them by colorway you also buy them like by length so you can buy six feet worth of books in different colors and so that's what I did uh, like I haven't read these books like these are just purely decorative if I have books that I'm reading I'll like store them elsewhere you know like I'll put them down here or something like that that's just kind of like a little tip a lot of times are people like how do you, do you get all the books to coordinate I just order them from Etsy sellers who coordinate them and a lot of times they find either decorative or antique books that are like that if you look up here all of these little these little things 
These are from Etsy as well. Once again, just going antiquing on Etsy. If you just search like brass antique bookends, you will find all of this kind of stuff. This I got from Anthropology. It is a planter, but I turned it into a dried flower arrangement. So I just bought like some dried flowers at Italy here in town and I made this pretty little like a crown of flowers and I liked it because it was very like Grecian obviously. And then here I've got my little dip tea holiday candle going. And then some of you guys have asked me about these cranes in the background. These actually belonged to, I think these were my grandparents and we had these in our house growing up. I just remember these always being around in some capacity. And then eventually just like over 20 years, they made their way into my mom's basement. And I was down there one day and I was like, oh, these are like the, the birds that we used to have in our house when I was little. And she was like, yeah, do you want them? You have gold accents. And I was like, wow, that's actually a really great idea. So they're a little set of three. They are antique and I'm just very happy to have them in my home. I love the way that they look with everything else up here. And then I love playing with different sized photos. So here because i don't want anything covering up the tv i just have these little teeny tiny mini frames if i can find these i will it's hard to find photo frames that are affordable and also like this small say hi to Minnie. she wants to be in the video i printed out some little like baby photos of my family this is me and my mom when i was a little baby so just like you know some family memories that i'm kind of in the process of printing out some of uh, my boyfriend's family as well. Once again, Etsy, Etsy, just like, you know, cute little things that match. This is me and my dad on one of our trips. We are in Avignon right there. Shout out to any of uh, my subscribers that live in France. And then this is one of those candles that I showed you guys in my gift guide. These are pricey. These are about $200 a pop, but I really like this. Like every time I see it, I smile and I've had this for a couple of years now. I don't really burn the candle that much, but I love it as a decorative accent. And then once again, I have some dried flowers right here. My entire life, like my mom is really into gardening, her and all of her sisters, very much into gardening. And so she always has lots of floral arrangements. And for the decor in our house, she was always making like dried flower arrangements or like silk flower arrangements. She'd go to Michael's and come back with a bunch of, you know, silk flowers and whatnot. So this is always something that we had in our house. So it's not too novel of an idea for me, but it's a really good like affordable way to create a pretty accent for your home and it's also like a fun thing you can do with you know a friend or a partner or a sister or something like that you know you guys can have a little like flower arrangement party and for me it's very um it's very therapeutic to make that kind of stuff then looking over here um all of like our furniture is kind of from a local furniture store called jordan's furniture and i like to play around with just different textures. I like the modern aspect of the marble and the the gold metal that you can see in like the side tables and the lighting and all that kind of stuff. But then I also, <laughs> she's playing with her toy. Sorry, I know it's so cute. <laughs> That's why I just leave them out because she'll just kind of pick them up and play with them. And this one, my best friend, gave her it's a little hello kitty filled with catnip so Rebecca if you are watching she's playing with the toy that you gave her once again the shearling or the sheepskin rug got this off of Etsy I think it came from a seller in Poland same thing with this I love just kind of fuzzy accents mixed with all of the metals I love woven accents I think that this is from Wayfair, if I'm not mistaken. And then funny story about this little blanket. I don't know if you can see, but on the back of my chair over there, I have a bigger blanket of the same color and pattern. Well, when I was little, my grandma made me the bigger blanket. And then I used to have it on the end of my bed. And then our cat at the time, Trixie, used to come and lie on the blanket. And my grandma didn't want the cat lying on the blanket that she made. So basically her solution to that was to make the cat a miniature version of my blanket, which is exactly what you see here. So I went and took that from my room in New Jersey 
and I put it here for Minnie and she loves it so that she doesn't get hair all over my nice chair. So that's what we have. I have a couple of little accents over here. These I both got in Greece. I think I got this in Athens from a local artist and in the uh, in the placa. And then this I got on a trip to Santorini and I saw the artist painting this in his workshop and I just thought his icons were just the most beautiful, interesting, like different kind of icon I, I had seen. So I picked up this little one of St. Michael. And then a lot of you guys asked me about my gallery walls. I have one here and one over there that I'm gonna show you in just a second. This is from a really interesting site, which I think is called Artfully. I will put the link to it down below. It's basically, it's one of those sites where you can buy wall art, okay? They have literally anything that you can imagine. They have all different types of motifs. But what I really like about their site is that you can create your own gallery wall and they have like a a program, a tool on the site where you can kind of lay everything out so you could see how it goes together and you can change the size, you can change the frame. So it really helps with planning the gallery wall because it can be a real headache, man, to plan a gallery wall. So here you can kind of tell the types of motifs that I like. I love beautiful women. I love cats. I love flowers. I love birds. Anything that has kind of like a Greco, you know, Grecian, Roman type of influence, that's what I really like. And I just wanted really beautiful, soft, feminine colors when I put this together. So that's where that is from. And then this one over here, this is like our coat area which is always full of recycling and whatnot. This is kind of what you typically will see in the background of my videos. And so this I put together on FrameBridge. A tip that I have for you guys, if you're putting together like a photo gallery wall, FrameBridge is really great because they have like designer services. And when I use the designer services, it actually ended up being cheaper than if I bought one of their prepaid gallery walls. And what they do is like, you just send them all the photos you want. You tell them your budget. You tell them like what types of frame colors you like and they just build the gallery wall for you and then they will send you directions on like how far apart all of these need to be whatever I know some of these need to be straightened but whatever like that's you know that's just the situation here so I just have a mixture of like family photos here and a couple of like vacation photos and that kind of stuff so yeah that's my gallery wall a lot of you guys ask me questions about it and it's honestly yeah, it's just from FrameBridge, nothing too crazy. This is my little dining area. I wanted to show you guys some of these things before I go into the bedroom. I got this mirror from like a Barnwood Frames website. I love the rustic look of it. This buffet table, I think I got this from Wayfair ages ago. All of this pottery is from the farmhouse pottery place that is in Vermont. Oh my gosh they sell the most beautiful things. They are pricey, but I was happy for the investment. And once again, you see, I've got a lot of like dried flower type things going on here. You can use this for like, I don't know, milk and storing other things, bread and that kind of stuff. But I just use it for decor. There I am. And then I got these candlesticks off of Etsy. Once again, I've got this beautiful little cake stand. I mostly use this for decor, but when I do have a cake and or cupcakes, I will put the cupcakes in there just for display. I will link it down below if I can find it. I got it off Food 52. And then coming in over here, this is also from a New England artist who I think is from Vermont. So I'm gonna find her site. I'm blanking on the name, it's Erica something. And she has all different types of cute like animal motifs you know she's got owls and she has deer and she's got rabbits and all kinds of stuff and i i just thought the insect one was cool because i really like honeybees so i just wanted to show you my little dining area right here all right and now the moment you've been waiting for this is my bedroom or as you might want to say my beauty room so i live in a one bedroom apartment most of the time my boyfriend is working in here and so i'm not really able to film and like his computer is on the vanity and all that kind of stuff i work out there where i just showed you where my desk is and so let me just kind of show you guys around so this is my main vanity right here. I've got just like some bags and hamper and all that kind of stuff over there. This beautiful mirror is from Anthropology, and I believe my furniture is from Pottery Barn. This is actually called the Sophia Extra Wide Dresser. They don't make it anymore. I'm so sad. It's like the best dresser ever. And so let me show you here what I've got. I almost always have a little like Bath and Body Works candle on here burning. 
and this is the twisted peppermint it smells so good it smells like candy like nonpareil peppermint candy this is my like tabletop display of makeup my sister got me this artwork like years ago and I always like to put it here I think it's pretty these right here are from refer these lipstick holders and they have a bunch of modular makeup organization tools which I love I bought a couple of them in their holiday sale when they first came out with them and what I do is I try to put some of my favorite lip products here and I know it's not the coolest and the prettiest but I do store them top side down so that I can read them because lord knows if I'm trying to find my Lisa Eldridge lipstick I'm going through all of them and I can't find it it just frustrates me like I want it to be as functional as possible and so a lot of times I'll pick just seasonally which ones will work better here and I'll, I'll kind of switch them out so that the ones that I want to use for that season are like readily available I also have all of my lip liners here or at least the ones that I use the most you guys are probably going to see some of my favorite brands we have YSL Dior we have my Hermes lipsticks Chantecaille and then right here I need to organize this a little bit better I wish I had more room but I have all of my Guerlain lipstick cases and I like to display them here so that I can look at them when I'm not using them and then I have a couple of other decorative ones here from Dior etc moving along over here I have most of my like foundation and concealer brushes I like to do my foundation and concealer right here because I store you guys will see in a second all my foundations in there this if you guys watch my recent Q&A someone was asking me like how do you cycle through your makeup I will usually just take a little this is a like a Chanel beauty cardboard box I will just take a lot of the makeup that I kind of am in the mood for or I want to use seasonally or is new and I want to like try it out more just stuff that I like want to use okay and I organize it in this little box and I just kind of cycle through and maybe once a month I'll kind of switch it out so you guys will see like I've got a lot of the holiday releases here I have like some of the Victoria Beckham stuff that I already owned or was sent oh I kept these out because I thought it'd be nice to show you guys these were in my travel makeup bag and these are the little pump bottles that I will use when I travel for foundation um, primer and that kind of stuff and this you can see I have Chanel Water Fresh Blush Deep Apricot. And so I really was liking the Water Fresh blushes this year. And so I made these so I could take it with me on summer vacation or any other kind of like trip that I've done this year. So I will link these down below because it's really hard to find these bottles where they're small enough. Because half the time you order these little bottle kinds of bottles on Amazon and you get them and they're like as big as the foundation. Like they're not really travel size at all. So I left those there because I wanted to show it to you guys. Then over here, I have some of my fragrances and I'll kind of swap these out or maybe rearrange them just based off of either the brand or the season. And so you guys will see right here, I just got this one. I showed this to you in my recent haul. This is Byredo Casablanca Lily. I also really love Byredo Bal d'Afrique. These are the two Byredo fragrances I have. I also really love Le Labo Neroli 36. And then I also have the Rose 31. I've got a bunch of my Tom Ford here. We've got Iben Fume, Jasmine Rouge, my Aqua de Parma right here. This little tray, once again, Etsy. Etsy, I just love the little antique butterflies that are on this mirror tray. It's annoying because I got to dust it, but whatever, it's worth it. I like it. This Diptyque fragrance, I feel like no one talks about, and it's so good. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like, you know, Plante Quatre, like 34th Street, basically, Saint Germain, Saint Germain Street in Paris, and it's just named after the address of their original store and it smells amazing. It's supposed to be formulated to smell like the store, which is crazy. Then over here, I just have my little lighting from I think CB2. This is kind of my other like overflow lipstick tray, which you can see is heavily dominated right now by Lisa Eldridge. And then this little Dior ring is actually something that I bought when I was younger. It is a lip lipstick or lip balm ring let me see if i can get this open there we go this is what it looks like i don't use it because it's obviously like expired but this is what little sophia was buying with all her money on like you know a flight to 
the village in Greece or whatever. I actually have a video of me unboxing this and a bunch of my childhood makeup that I made a year ago. It's one of the first videos I ever made on my channel. I will link it down below because it's pretty funny. I unbox like all of my little treasures from when I was, you know, in middle school or whatever. This is actually a photo of my grandmother when she was younger. So I printed up a bunch of old family photos and I love her having her here because she's one of my favorite people. So let's go into the actual beauty storage. This is one of my main drawers in addition to my armoire, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Maybe it looks like a mess to you, but I know where everything is in here. So let me kind of give you a bit of a tour and I'm getting to the point where I probably need to do another declutter to kind of remove some of these things. There's a couple of things you'll notice that don't really fit, but I'm gonna do another reorganization pretty soon. So right here I have all of my highlighters. You guys will notice I have my collection of the Dior highlighters and I've just used a small little Sharpie to write the name of each highlighter on just like the outer cover. Whatever I can do so that I can actually see it i will i will do that <laughs> you guys will also notice that i have a label maker i'll link the one that i have down below and i will put the name of each of the shades on there you can see here i've got like my dior backstage one 004 rose gold 001 universal like organization is key when you're like me and you have a lot of makeup these are all of my like liquid balmy highlighters right over here more or less i can like tell the difference between these but you'll also see like here my charlotte tilbury beauty light wands i said pink here because this is pink gasm and peach because it's peach gasm so i'll use sharpies i will use label makers anything like that right here is all of my blushes this whole like section is mostly blushes you will see here these are all of my pat mcgrath blushes they are all labeled then I've got all of my Suku blushes. These are also labeled actually, but unfortunately the Suku blushes, they're nice and slim so that they fit in the makeup storage really well, but you can't, like there's no good way to store them so that you can see it up top, unfortunately. So the best thing I could do was just do it like this. Also, because the names are in Japanese, I don't remember like what this one is. Like I won't know off the top of my head often, like, oh yeah, like Sumiro, it's this color, whatever. So I will actually write it out, Coral Peach. Let's see what I did right here. Summer Peach, <laughs> whatever that means. You know, I'll do that kind of stuff. This one says nude. So I'll describe the color so I remember what that is so when I'm looking through them, I can find them quicker. The Gucci blushes, I have nowhere to put these. I think eventually I'll probably like put them out here in some manner until I have like a two bedroom apartment and I can, you know, afford to have a beauty room, like a real beauty room. They're probably just gonna stay like this. But you can see I have very similar treatment here. I've got my Patrick Ta blushes. I have my Tower 28 cream blushes. I've got the Givenchy Pris Prisman Libre blushes as well. So those are all of my blushes. And then the cream ones here, these are pretty easy to identify. I've got like all my Glossier cloud paints, my nude sticks. I've got these from like Rose Ink and Cosmetics, my Chanel Water Fresh blushes. And then making our way over here, we've got all of my foundations and concealers. All of the foundations are here. These are pretty easy to pick out. You'll notice, yes, I still have a little bit of my Beloved Dior Air Flash, which was discontinued. I've got the Chanel Water Fresh tint right here. I've got some more Chanel here. I also have some like primers and glowy, you know, glowy kind of primers in here, like the e.l.f. Halo Glow. It's kind of a mixture. Got my Lisa Eldridge right here. And then these are all of my little concealers. You know, I try and get rid of them if they've been here for a while, or I will put maybe some of them in this box. If it's like, oh, you know what? I really, I should kind of use up this foundation. I've got just a little bit left and I don't want it to go bad. And then back here, you'll notice this is where I keep like more of blush palettes, face palettes. So I've got my other hourglass ones. I have my ones from Charlotte Tilbury back here. I've got like the Bridgerton blush palette. And then over here is where I keep all of my bronzers. So I've got my Guerlain. Tom Ford, Gucci, Wayne Goss, and then oops, these got a little bit turned around because I've been organizing stuff in here, but we've got like the Makeup by Mario ones, all of the green bronzers that I tried, they're all organized right here in one way or another. I've got my Victoria Beckham ones. So it's really focused on me being able to see everything. If it's something that I don't use that much, 
I basically will kind of toss it back here. Like you can see, I've got like mixing medium, I've got milk hydro grit primer, just cause like I don't use primers all that much. Yeah, that's pretty much this drawer. This is all of my highlighters, my blushes, my base products and my bronzers, and then just like face palettes. So this covers a lot, to be honest, like a lot of my stuff fits in this one drawer. And then now I'm gonna show you where I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes. All right, so this is my other side of the room and I'll, I'll show you guys kind of around this little area in a second, but I'm gonna show you my makeup armoire because most of the stuff that I have in here is makeup. On the bottom, I've got like belts and socks. And you guys will also notice that I store some of my hats up here. So let's go inside because this is really, yeah, I know. This is where a lot of it is, and this is what it will look like on a typical day. So on the top shelf right here, that's where I keep a lot of my hats because I don't want them to get crushed. I, you'll notice I love just like my little stuffed animals. I'll kind of put them here just because, you know, as I'm doing my makeup, I get to see my cute little things. I won these like at Disney and state fairs. I've got Jasmine, the best Disney princess. I also keep my lashes here. These are magnetic lashes for just like when I choose to use them. I don't use lashes in my makeup videos really all that often because I like to try and keep it natural. I also have all of my Pat McGrath quads up here and this is another style of like the refer holder. You can use it for palettes, you can use it for all kinds of things. And what's nice about it is that it's rubbery so that it doesn't move around. And I don't know, I just put these up here because I wanted them more like at eye level because I felt like they were getting lost down there, which you'll see in a second. And then up here, I have more like random brands that maybe they don't really fit into the organization of this other area. So I keep these up here. So we've got like the Hella palette from Odin's Eye, the Angelica Nikvis palette. I've got some Kaleidos things. I've got the uh, Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette. Things that I, I still really love, but for whatever reason, they just like don't fit into, they might be more of like a brand one-off, so to speak. So that is the top shelf. And then we have the second shelf, I guess you could call it here. And I know this looks like a lot, but trust me, like I know where everything is. I do make pretty good use of the little space that I have. Typically this is kind of where, like this is the main shelf that I'm like grabbing from when I'm doing my makeup and I'm not on camera. I will use the mirror from this door, I'll close it and then I'll kind of like reach in and grab the things that I need. So what do I have here? I always keep like a microfiber towel here for kind of cleaning off my brushes in between uses. I also have, I mean, in general, like this is the majority of my brushes. I keep a lot of my more special brushes and my favorite brushes in this little cup. And so you'll see there's a lot of like Sonia G and Refer and Wayne Goss and Chikohoto and that kind of stuff. And those are eye brushes. These are the rest of my eye brushes. I got, a, I've seen a lot of people have these little brush holders. They were sold at Sephora or they were like free gifts at Sephora and I used all my free points to get like <laughs> four or five of them that you see right here. So that's where I got these. I wish that they just like sold these normally, but unfortunately I don't think that they do. But these are the rest of all of my eye brushes. And then this actually used to be like a candle. And once the candle burned down, I just cleaned out the holder and I like to reuse my candle vessels for my brushes. Then right here I have like a lot of my bronzer brushes. So just kind of like big fluffy powder brushes. You can see in here I've got like my favorite Koyuto Kakishi Buzome brushes. I have the Wayne Goss holiday brush from last year just kind of tucked inside there. Back here I have more like synthetic brushes. I have all of my eyeliners, um, just kind of like some of the colors that I don't use as much. Then I have in the front, my favorite eyeliners. You can see I've got like my Chanel, my Wayne Goss, my Victoria Beckham satin eye cajols. Back here, I have all of my blush and highlighter brushes. Over here, I've got my mascaras and then they don't, they don't all fit unfortunately. So I've just got like some of my 
favorites that I've been using here recently. I've got like the Isamay Beauty and I have the Lancome mascara that I just did for my Sephora bestseller, Get Ready With Me. I've got my Katie Jane Hughes brushes and a couple extra BK Beauty ones in here. Just kind of like some things that I use regularly, like my Charlotte Tilbury powder, my Pat McGrath powder, just like little things that I use for blending and touch-ups, I will put here. I also like to display my Guerlain meteorites these are the ones from the holiday collection from last year and i go back and forth between keeping these here and then like displaying them on my vanity because they're just so beautiful and then right here i have a couple of different things obviously i've got just like cute little stuff here that makes me happy obviously i love spongebob <laughs> This is actually a little brush holder, or not a brush holder, a sponge holder. It was from like this big Wet n Wild collection and I bought the entire collection a year ago just because like I wanted these little kitschy things. This is a tray for number one, my fancy food day right here. This is all of my like limited edition kind. You guys will notice these are the Beautylish Lunar New Year ones. So this was Year of the Tiger from last year. They are just so cute. There's like the year of the rat. There's the special like carp one. There's the cherry blossom one. Another Coyuto year of the tiger one. So I just like to display those there. I display them, but I also use them. And like I want, I want to look at them, but I also want to remind myself that I have them. So I keep them in sight. I also have, you know, my eyelash curler, a bunch of clean sharpeners here. And then this is where I keep all of my little brow things or like, brightening pencils for the waterline and that kind of stuff so just kind of keep all of these little things that I need to just like grab here in my workspace and then back here are mostly my lip products my eyeliners and my eyeshadow singles I normally use palettes you guys know I'm a palette girl and I've got you know my other grab and go lipsticks over here so this is more of like my back stock or things that seasonably seasonally i am not using and so i like to organize everything in these like plastic see-through drawers you can see right here i've got all of my pat mcgrath lip glosses and then i've got like a bunch of kaleidos ones in here i've got my wayne goss ones in here I've got like liquid eyeliners, but more so like the colorful ones that I just don't use as much. You guys will see I have like my Danessa Myricks, the color fix in here, my chrome, my Tarte chrome paint pots, like eyeshadow singles, all of that kind of stuff. I will keep in here and so I'm not reaching back here as often like on a daily basis ideally I wouldn't have all this stuff in front of it but I just don't have the space for it and so I find myself gradually getting rid of a lot of like lip products and that kind of stuff I'm really trying to stick to the brands that I know I really like and I do have a rule for myself that I really try not to buy too many eyeshadow singles I have a couple of ColourPop things and other stuff in here but I also don't really buy a lot of ColourPop anymore not just not because I don't like them but just because I don't have the room so I gotta prioritize and I don't review ColourPop as well I just try my best not to buy too much of it so let's move down to this shelf let me get this out of the way put this back here this is where i keep pretty much the majority of my eyeshadow palettes i try to keep this as organized as possible probably every like quarter or so i will reorganize this a little bit in the front i've got my charlotte tilbury palettes once again, I use a label maker. Does the label fit on it perfectly every single time? No, but it's okay. As long as I can read it, that's all right with me. Like I want it to be functional. It doesn't ruin my experience of using the packaging or anything like that. I've got Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the Suku. And just like with the blushes, I have written things to remind me which one it is. Like pre-holiday blue. Oh, okay. Like I know what that one is. Then I've got all of my Tom Ford right here. I have kind of like the seasonal limited edition ones here uh the color eye color creme and then the wet dry formula then I have all my Dior quince I know I know I think I counted 18 the other day I also have my uh Chanel ones here I don't have as big of a Chanel collection you'll notice I've got like the Chanel tweed ones right there and then I have Charlotte Tilbury like the big 12 pan palettes over there and then making our way over here I have my Viseart collection. Some things are missing from here just because I am 
either gonna film with it soon and I have it organized in like a box somewhere. I'm gonna be making some custom palettes out of like the bigger ones that I have here when I go home for Christmas. I'm gonna try and film that. So that's why we have some things that are missing here. Right here, I've got all of my Natasha Denona palettes. Mostly like the midi ones are the ones that I kind of collect at this point, but I also have the bigger ones as well. I also made my own custom ones. Let me show you guys this. Here is the custom one that I made. You guys can let me know what you think of this. During quarantine, I basically just made two custom Natasha Denona palettes. And this is one of them. This is kind of like the pink tone palette. And then actually, let me show you the other one I made as well. And then this is the neutral palette that I made that has kind of more of like the browns, the warm tone neutrals, the reds and that kind of stuff. So you can see I made more of like a pinky tone one and more of like a neutral one. So yeah, those are mostly all of my Natasha Denona like larger palettes. You guys will see here I have the big 28 pan palettes right here as well. I recently picked these up in the Black Friday sale and I have been loving them. And then I've just got <laughs> kind of like a mixture of Danessa Myricks and Natasha Denona right there. If you look behind the Viseart palettes, this is where I have kind of a combination of like my little Viseart Petite Fours and also my Natasha Denona mini palettes. So these are like, you know, the mini nude, for example, and then some of the older five pan palettes. To be honest with you, I don't use a lot of these that much anymore. I also don't think the quality was as good on these as like the 28 pan palettes, for example, but I haven't gotten rid of them in my collection. I also have some of the mini palettes right here. Got like the mini Metropolis, for example. In the back here is where I have all of my ColourPop palettes. I have a lot of those like nine pan ones, feeling bubble. You know, I've got like the um, Baby Yoda, the Child palette back here. I also have a lot of like the monochrome, you know, the peach, the orange, the, what is this, like the mint, like the green one. And then I have like the Limoncello palette. I really do like the ColourPop formula. It's just... I don't need like a million of them. And so I put them back here. I'm happy with the ones I have. I do like to use them. Sometimes I bring them traveling with me because they're travel friendly. They kind of stay in the back there because I don't really use them on my channel. And then back here, I've got my Anastasia palette. So I've got like the Nouveau. I also have here, what do I have? Modern Renaissance, which is very well loved as you can see i know it just it looks kind of gross so sorry about that oh i've got some urban decay i've got like the naked honey but most of these yeah it's kind of like you know sigma urban decay anastasia beverly hills i've got the Riviera palette back here. So I have kind of my little collection there. Maybe there's one or two that I should declutter, but I haven't done it yet. Just I know guys I'm like I've got that like collector's mindset sometimes and then moving on to kind of the back side here this is where I have all of my Pat McGrath mothership palettes and once again this is where like the label maker really comes in handy because I can't tell the difference between these and it's like half the time I'm looking at the back of some of these palettes and it's like I don't need I don't know where I need to look I know it says it right there and I'm not blind and I have decent eyesight but I'm just impatient I need to be able to find things quickly I've got the holiday palettes here I've got some of the smaller ones some of these really old OG ones that I just don't want to get rid of because I do like them I have these uh, new five pan ones from the holiday collection I've got some of the other like smaller ones right here here. These are actually the Blitz Astral ones. Here's the pink one. Oh my gosh, like why doesn't she come out with more of these? I love this. This is like my go-to topper palette, especially these top two ones, the brighter ones. Oh my gosh, so, so good. So I'll just try and keep these with the label side out. And then in here, you know, typically these smaller palettes, I would like to have them out here, but I just don't have the space. So I've got my Chanel Tweed shadows right here. I also have my new Lisa Eldridge palettes in here. I've got my Byredo ones. A lot of times I'll take the Byredo ones and I will display them on my vanity. I had that for a really long time and then I just kind of switched it up and I did their Guerlain lipsticks. I've got the Isamea Industrial palette right here. Sorry. I had it upside down. Back here, I have 
my Guerlain palettes. So these are the four that I have. I think the holiday one, that one is on my vanity. I also have all of the Wayne Goss ones. I also have the Wayne Goss blush and highlighter duos. Unfortunately, I did have to move them into this vanity because I just don't have room for any more blushes. And so, yeah, there's probably gonna have to be like a bit of a purge and I, I don't wanna get rid of any of my Wayne Goss ones because I like them so much. And then back here, I just have, I've got like the Byredo Kalahari palette. I have some of my mega palettes, like these big Viseart ones. I really don't reach for them that much. I also have the big ColourPop ones back there. And this is also where I keep my Huda Beauty palettes. I've got the Huda Beauty, oh, look at that, like a pretty rainbow. I have the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. I have like the Mercury in Retrograde. And then I've also got my Patrick Ta palette. Hey, look, you can see me right there. That's pretty much like all of my palettes obviously i have more than anybody should ever have this is very much like my pride and joy and as you can see i try and take really good care of my stuff and anything that i declutter i will like give it to my sister a cousin a friend i'll kind of sterilize it and i will donate it to them pretty much anybody who wants it now down here i have just kind of like other random things so these are like my fragrance samples my travel sizes or if I have anything that's kind of out of season like this is replica beach walk I don't really wear this in the winter so I keep it there my Gucci flora right here unfortunately that fell over so we'll just tuck that back in I have some other little like boxes and stuff and then here is kind of like my back stock so anything extra that I have which I don't buy backups anymore, but if I had bought them, I'll put them here. If like a brand sends me something and maybe I already had it or I just want to use up what I have, I will put it in here. If I get little samples like this, like a little mini all-nighter Urban Decay, I'll put it here. Yep, this is pretty much where all of it goes. It's a lot of mini mascaras, to be honest with you. If I have anybody that comes over my house that's like, oh no, I forgot my mascara, which like, you know, like my best friend is prone to doing, I will be like I got you girl I'll give you a free fresh mini mascara so yeah that is my makeup armoire that is like the bulk of my makeup and I'll just kind of show you guys the rest of what I got going on here we have some cute little plants. Some of them are doing well, some of them are doing not so well. I've got um, a cute little display here, nice gold tray. I love the Hermes Twilly perfume. It is so feminine, I love it. I've got a bunch of APM Monaco earrings here. Once again, my dried flower arrangement. My bedding is from Anthropology. I don't think that you can get it anymore, but I do love it. And then this pillow my sister got me in Greece. I mean, obviously, people always buy me cat-related things. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much most of my bedding comes from Anthropology. This is actually, I already have this pillow on my bed, but Sleeping Glow sent me another one of these pillows. The first one I bought myself, I've been sleeping on it for over a year, but they sent me just like another one. Actually, I have a coupon code for you guys, so I'm gonna put it down below. And this is what I sleep on. Number one, because it's super comfortable. Number two, it makes sleeping on your back a lot more comfortable so that you don't wake up, you know, you don't mash your face at night. It's just better for you. It's better for your skin, better for like puffiness and that kind of stuff. And then also you can kind of see right here, there's like this little crater. So if you're like me and you're a side sleeper, you can rest your head here and it's almost like it doesn't mash into your face because your head is supported by these sides. So if you're somebody that wakes up with a lot of puffiness or lines on your face, you know, you don't want your pillow like tugging at your face, this is a good pillow for that. And it's kind of like that memory foam type of fabric and it comes with this little silk or satin covering. And then a lot of times I just put like my, I have other silk pillowcases from Lily Silk and that kind of stuff. It's called the Omnia pillow. They just sent this to me. So that's why it's like on my bed and whatnot. And then the last little area is right here. Sorry, I had to kind of like turn on the lights because the sun is starting to go down because I'm filming this in between work meetings and stuff. Um, this is just like my little display. I have some beauty things here and some fashion things. Up here I have a antique photo of my grandfather in his Greek military uniform. Here I've got some antique Nancy Drew books and some little cat bookends. Once again, 
all from Etsy. I'm a big fan of Etsy. Uh, this is where I just keep all of like my little silk scarves and twillies. I've got, there's like a little Fendi one right there, one from J. Crew. I have some like secondhand Hermes ones in there. This is the Guerlain bottle that I got when I was in Paris and I did an unboxing and kind of told you guys about my experience there. You can kind of like pick the bottle, pick the fragrance, you can pick the little cord. Guerlain has a lot of really great like customization type things. And then I've got some more family photos here. I printed out all of these little mini ones and made a little display and you can order these little, you know when you go to like a wedding and they've got like the little place cards, you can prop up your photos with those. So I've got like, you know, these young photos of my dad and like him and his sister, my mom, who some of you guys know from the video I did with her. Comment down below, let me know if you think I look like my dad. If, any, if anybody ever says that I have lip filler, I'm gonna show them this photo of my dad when he was young and be like, no, I get, I'm get, i getting it from him, guys. <laughs> And then down here, um, I've got a couple other things. Another photo of my grandfather with, I think, one of his brothers. And then I love these glass cases for, like, displaying jewelry. So I have just a bunch of different, you know, pendants and necklaces I've collected over the years. Some of these are very old. Like, I think that's my baptism cross right there. And then here I have more of like vintage jewelry. This one's for my grandmother. These are some vintage Chanel earrings that I bought in Japan at like a vintage shop. This is a little pressed flower arrangement craft thing that I did at the Gucci store for a, like a fun event that they had. And then I have more fragrances right here. I love fragrances. I try not to buy too many. I know guys, like I have so many. It's like impossible for me to get through all these, but they last a long time and I really do love them. I go through different phases and depending on my mood, I will go with certain fragrances. So here I've got Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I have the little Miss Dior Mille Fiore. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that okay. The candle from this year. I love Jo Malone and I have a lot of Jo Malone because I like to mix them. And then I've got the new Tom Ford Bois Moroccan fragrance that I bought in the Sephora sale. Tom Ford Oud Wood. I know I like Tom Ford and then I like the the Tom Ford, what is this one called again? Costa Azura. Costa Azura. I bought that in the Sephora sale at the beginning of the year. And then I've also got Venetian Bergamot. And then I have one of the rose ones that I bought for myself <laughs> for Valentine's Day as a little prezi to myself, Rose Diamalfi. And then I've got my beloved Alien perfume that I've been wearing for years that I recently repurchased in the Sephora sale. So I've got a bunch of little ones here and you guys might have noticed these little doilies. My grandmother crochets these all by hand and I've got so many of them. There's another one right here that's like a different design. I have tons of them. Like I have enough to cover my house in these and I cherish them so much because we just like, we don't learn how to do this stuff anymore. And like, look at the detail there. And she can whip this up in no time. This does not take her that long to make. I'm always just so amazed. And she always has one for me when I go visit her. And down here, I've got some baskets and that's just where I store my denim. I'm not gonna go through all my clothes because I already know this is gonna be like a long ass video. So I use those baskets for all of my jeans. And then I guess the last thing I wanted to show you guys is just this little Little, kind of like my little purse stand. I just kind of line them all up. These are the ones that I'm kind of using for fall and winter. Typically I keep them in their dust bags, but when I have them here, I like to just be able to see them because number one, it makes me happy, but number two, just like with my makeup, if I see it, like I remember I have it and then I'm more likely to use it. I like to be able to just see all of my things and then I'll kind of you know, bundle them up and put them away. I like to stuff them all with paper. And so I am gonna be doing a bag collection video pretty soon. So I'm not gonna go through all these. I recently did like a little Instagram story where I walked you guys through all the bags that I have here. I also have a little jewelry box right here where I have like a bunch of the mini bags at the top. But this is really just like, you know, grab and go because I really hate having to get you know, that one bag that I really want to use out of it. like storage and it's in the dust bag. I know first world problems guys, but this is what works for me from an organization and 
you know, efficiency standpoint. And then finally right here, I just have like my APM Monaco um, jewelry right here and just some other earrings. I have some watches. This watch right here was my dad's watch for years, for years. And then he finally got a new one. And I found this one like in a drawer in our house and it was all dusty and it didn't work and it was broken. And so I took it to the jewelers. Well, first I asked my dad if I could have it. And he was like, yeah, of course you can have it. I don't use it anymore. I would love for you to have it. And so I said, I'm going to go get it fixed. And so I went and I got it like shined up and I got it working again and they sent it into tag and I had it sized to my wrist and now I wear it. And so this is kind of like my chunky like menswear style of watch and I love it yeah you know I love watches but they're so expensive it's like hard for me to save up to buy them but I really love the one that I got for my dad it's not like a Rolex or anything like that but I still love it this is these are just like my little Dior lipstick cases <laughs> this is the one from last year they came out with another one this holiday season but I really like this one because it has the atelier on the front and it's all gold and pretty. And then this is the Miss Dior one that I actually did a review on earlier this year. So yeah, that is the last little like area of my room. The sun is starting to go down now. So I guess that is a signal for me to end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little like cribs tour and just a little tour of my beauty vanity and my storage and all of my, you know, my little decor, my trinkets and the things that mean a lot to me. Hopefully this wasn't incredibly boring. You guys said you wanted, you know, to kind of take a look into these things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. And once again, anything that I think I can link down below, if you guys are interested in, I will try and do so. So definitely check out the description box for all of those. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.